Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of creating number sentences, specifically how we can do so using the order of operations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So I quickly have on the screen here our order of operations, parentheses, exponent, and remember multiplication and division are inverse operations. You can use either one, left to right, whichever one comes first. Same with addition and subtraction. So what do we have here? Carl is trying to save money for a field trip. He's already got some coins. Then he buys a blow pop, which means he's losing some money. And we need to write a number sentence showing how much more he needs to save. All right, so uh, let's call that S. How much more does he need to save? But what we need to do here is first, okay, we know what that $6 is. That's what his goal is. He's trying to get $6. But he's got these quarters, he's, these nickels, these dimes. So let's do a little bit with that. He has seven quarters. So what do we know about seven quarters? Well, if we wanted to find the value of seven quarters, we can multiply seven times its value, 25 cents. We can do the same thing with 15 nickels. 15 times 5 cents. And then we can do the same thing with the dimes. 10 times 0 0.1. We could probably go ahead and put that 0 0.10, but we really don't need it. We could, we could have left it at 0 0.1. Now, all that together, how much money does Carl have in coins? What could we do there? Well, I've got three different sets, the quarters, the nickels, and the dimes, right? So what I want to do here is I could add, right, because we would end up getting each of these three products right, 75 cents, another 75 cents, or that's $1.75, 75 cents, and a dollar, and we're going to end up adding them. So I'm going to put these parentheses around here to keep this all as a group. So Carl doesn't need to save this amount. He already has this. So if he's trying to get up to $6, let's do that. Let's say $6 is my goal, and I'm going to subtract this amount here because I don't need to save it. So whatever's going to be left is going to be how much he needs to save. And that would be pretty simple, except that Carl bought a blow pop. So what do we need to do with that blow pop? Well, is that blow pop, let's think about it. Typically, when we buy something, we subtract it, right? Because money is going away. We're trying to keep in mind how much he needs to save. And when you spend money that you're trying to save for a field trip, do you need to save more or do you need to save less? Well, if you're saving up money for a field trip and you end up spending something on a blow pop, that's money that should have gone to the field trip. So to make that money back, you actually are going to have to save more. So we're going to need to add that at the very end. We're going to need to have a 0 0.75 that we add to the end because that's going to increase the amount of money that he needs to save because he probably should have saved his money instead of buying a blow pop. So this is how we can use the order of operations to write a number sentence. And if we needed to, we would solve this. Right? We would do the parentheses. We would simplify each of these first, add those together with the 75, and then subtract from the 6, and that would be how much more he needs to save. Now we have Jerome, he's collected some cards, so he starts with 19 cards, buys 5 more packs, we have 6 cards in a pack, and then the sister actually accidentally throws away 2 packs. So we can write a number sentence showing how many cards he has. So there's 2 different ways we could do this. Uh, let's, let's make that C. Okay, so we can say C cards he has. He's going to start with 19, so that's pretty simple. We're gonna, it's going to be 19 plus buys five more packs. Each pack has six cards. So what we need is we need a five times six. Okay? Because that's going to get you 30. But we want to show that in order of operations, five times six. You don't honestly need parentheses here because you would end up multiplying before you add. So we'll leave it just like this. But then his sister accidentally throws away two packs before he can open them. So we need to take away two packs. But they're, it's not just going to be a minus two. It's a minus 2 times 6. So this is one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to keep the 19. What we could do is we could say, you know what, we bought 5 packs, but we lost 2. Then we multiply that by 6. So really, there's just 3 packs we multiply by 6. Either of those work.